Welcome back to another video. My name is Tyler. I go by Zany Online, and uh, if you're new around here, uh, welcome, welcome. I make videos, you know. You'll see. They're they're about whatever I'm interested in. Maybe you'll like them. Maybe you won't. Who knows? Stick around. You'll find out. And for those of you who are like returning, thanks. You know, hope you're doing good. Sorry for taking a little bit of time off videos. I was dog sitting. You know, uh, had to be away from Buddy for a little bit. That was that was tough. Um, and also didn't have all of my like, you know, main equipment with me. Um, I tried out Ubuntu on my little hallway matebook laptop. If you've ever, sorry about that. We got an Amazon package delivered and of course the dog's got to go crazy, but I tried out Ubuntu on the hallway matebook laptop. It's actually really good. Ubuntu is fantastic on it. And the issue that I've been having with my Dell G5 is I've tried like, I mean, dude, I've tried every Linux distro I can think of on it. Nothing works on this thing. So I tried Solus and that's what I'm gonna show off today because it's actually like Solus was my last ditch distro before I just moved over to Windows. I mean, I, I literally just wanna play, this thing's got a nice graphics card in it. It can play games really well. I just wanna be able to do that. Um, like have it actually switch over to the graphics card when I want to play games, not crash and everything. And even on Arch, when I set the, like there's a kernel flag that you got to set it, it's just still a ludicrous amount of issues everywhere that I went. And here, audio works fine. You know, um, Wi-Fi, uh, I know you guys can't see everything down here because I've got my, you know, webcam up. Hi, also, the glasses, yeah, um, I know they look terrible. I lost my other ones. I have no idea where they're at. I'll, I'll find them eventually. Um, but it, it, one of the things that I think a lot of people probably won't like is it is very Windows-esque in its workflow and like sort of style. But it's kind of like if Windows 10 was upgraded to Windows 11, but like, Windows 11 was just Linux. That's kind of what it is. Like it's a good Windows 11, you know, rounded corners and actual dark mode that like looks nice and is functional. And Solus here, it takes, it's based off of, you know, GTK and I'm using Budgie here, um, if you couldn't tell. Um, and it takes GNOME and makes GNOME better. Um, I like it. I, I really do. The software center here is fantastic. I mean, there's literally everything in here. Uh, if I wanted to search for Yadom, which is yet another dot files manager, which is a tool I like to use for managing my like dot files. Um, yeah, it's here. Everything is in the software center. Uh, it has Flatpak and Snap support out of the gate. So of course you've got access to all the software that you might want. Um, I mean, here's Lagrange, so I could go to zany.org and you can see my, my uh, Gemini page is actually horribly, horribly broken in Lagrange for some reason. In Amphora it looks fine, but here in Lagrange it looks terrible. So there's gonna be some modification coming to the Gemini um, page very soon. But that's besides the point. I'm actually able to play games here. So if I just load up zero AD, it will like work, which is great. And I'm not gonna destroy you with um, game audio. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, it just, everything works really well. Um, I'm, I'm very surprised at how well everything is working on Solus and I actually kind of like Budgie. Um, if we load up my terminal, you know, I mean, kind of, kind of got everything that I want. Um, LSD was actually in the repository. So you could just do a sudo EOPKG install LSD and that is LS Deluxe. So you could like, you know, get that beautiful LS that, you know, I like. Because 
you probably want it. It's sick. And yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all I've really got to say because I'm not going to do a deep dive into Solus and what makes Solus Solus. It's an independent distro. Um, they do some things differently, but look, if you've been in the Linux space for quite a while, they're not doing I anything crazy. They just have their own interesting package manager and you know they're doing they're doing their own stuff budgie is come comes from solus and i think it's a fantastic desktop environment it's it's really it's really nice really rock solid and i'm excited to keep using it see more small things that i like about it see see if there's you know anything that really keeps me here other than just the fact that it just works with my hardware everything just works the way that it should and that means that i can just make videos like this and go about my business and get to spending time with buddy more often right buddy that's better for us right playing more you like that i know so yeah it overall i'm really enjoying the experience and let me know if you guys have checked out Solus, or uh, if you haven't, why haven't you? Why won't you? That kind of thing. And then I'm sure some of you will make semi nice comments about my glasses and how terrible they are and how much glare they produce and all of that. So I'll enjoy reading those. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button on your way out. Consider subscribing because, you know, I do kind of like that and we've just passed a thousand subscribers which is super awesome so thank all of you guys for the support and i will see you in the next video but perhaps before you go watch that next video yeah hi buddy do you want to say hi do you want to say hi to everyone you know no no you want to stay out of the frame i got you i got you dude i'll take care of this all the people you're seeing up on the screen you know, these are fantastic people that support me over on Patreon. Consider going over here and joining them because it definitely means a lot. And then after you've done that, come back over here to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed because we're going to be having a new podcast start December 1st. We're going to record it live and it's going to be a chill, relaxed, you know, podcast where creators in the Linux space, like myself, um, Matt from the Linux cast, and a whole bunch of other people. I, I don't feel like name dropping right now, but look, there's going to be a whole bunch of people from the Linux space that will rotate in whenever they're free and can come in. Uh, we'll all just sit down, talk, we'll have different perspectives and different interests. So there will every week there will be a new interesting conversation. And again, that starts December 1st at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Good Lord, brain fart. So yeah, um, that live stream will be scheduled by the end of the day today. So keep an eye out for it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.